We are coming to you live from Steeltown, Pennsylvania at the sold out Three Mile Island Stadium. There's nothing quite like playing in the scenic toxic nuclear waste dump. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers and lots of lots of beers. The Nuke London Hatriots take on the Blitzburg Steelheads. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Are you ready for some MFL action? Am I? I love MILFs. Mutants I'd like to fuck. He said MFL, not M-I-L-F, you halfwit. Oh, I thought you were talking about the Mayhem Bowl halftime MILF lingerie girls team. What a zombie QB with that big rack of ribs and almost no waist at all. Oh, oh. va 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 boom. Oh, did he take a punishing hit? You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? Yeah, the white juice at the Booter's chicken wings last night? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then the police horse is out front in the stadium earlier. It was just a joke slap, but the horse took it seriously. Not surprised. Hot one. Hot. Six yard game there. That's a solid pickup. I wish people would do solid pickups more often. I step in dog turns on my front porch every day. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one. Hot. for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. Second down and a lot. Hot one, hot two, hot. That pass play was good for three yards. Third down and nine. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And he was stuck to him like glue. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on NFL Game Day. Uh, MFL, it's good. You gotta be fucking kidding me. If that's a penalty, they should come up here and penalize us too. Hey, don't give these refs any ideas, you idiot. Friend, I just dash. On it. Man, these guys have, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. The punter for today is being played by my kid's sister. Or at least it's... They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. to go somewhere but he gets stumped after three they usually stop me after three too you know the all you can eat buffets they're not as literal as you think not much there maybe a yard no they couldn't pick up a first down so now they have to punt Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he 
might put a little too much on that ball. This will be a touchback. And it's first and ten. Hot one. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Second down in a very lot. Hot one. Hot two, eight. He had it for a second there. Third down and long. Hot, hot one. for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. I hope you covered your ears, Bricks, because that was a sonic blast dirty trick. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. First and four. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Actually, he does have some turkey get wrapped in on his backside from that bad bird he had last year. Mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. At some point, they're going to need to put this ref out of his misery. Uh, how about now, for instance? Here's a hit. Dirty tricks attack the ref. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to place a bat. And this is the first and long. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down and forever. The receiver makes a grab for five yards. Second down and they 
not going to happen, partner. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Third down, and the punter is warming up. That's a catch for a one-yard gain. That's not going to do it, fellas. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is in palm grim. That cross pitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Hot. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> hey. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a return of the ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for it. You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. The defense better look out. The offense called the Beast Boost dirty trick. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. Consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Jack, ain't nothing worse than wasting a good explosive. Second down and ten. Foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. Yeah. 
Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, eight. Shocked is no joke. I used to wear triple wool socks, slide around on a shed type, for eight hours so I could shock my younger brother. I went to change the TV channel. He got blown across the room into the deer antlers. And it's first and ten. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch! And it's first and ten. And he catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yeah, it's all those power and green, like a high cool! Bring your bacon to me! <laughs> now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It's good. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Call man about a six yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. And that'll be second down and four. He is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? And it's first and ten. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And that's it. That's the last timeout. It's score or die from here out. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brit's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. And the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. And that pass is good for about five yards. Third down and five. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. No one was open downfield, so the QB threw the ball away. The drive was stalled, and here comes the field goal attempt. Well, surprise me, he made it look easy, and he gets three points for it.
Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. They're going to be able to return this one. And that's the end of the second quarter. Seminole will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I do. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! They want more points, so they're going for two. And it plows forward for the two-point conversion. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. A pickup of about three on that play. Third down and long. left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out.
Second down in a mile. Oh, and he just turns ginormous. Devastating hit, knocks the ball loose. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can see that, Quinn. Second down, and a defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Take him what the defense has given them. That's a four-yard gain on the reception. Hey, less than a wipe for the headache. Second down and six. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First and ten. Second down and long. First down and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. First down and six. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got to uh, <clears throat> Hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. points you need to get them back here comes the kickoff let's see if they can make them pay and it's first and ten Second down and ten. And he breaks away. And the defense gives up five yards there. Third down and five. Catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Oh. 
Second down and a lot. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Looks like my wedding night. There was a big explosion, and then everyone left disappointed. What do you mean, everyone? And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. Third down and the punter is warming up. Hot one, hot two. Three. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. You've got to catch that. Third and four. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. No one was going to stop him. That's two points. Keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Oh, mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. He had it for a second there. Second down and ten. trick to erase that last play. Having all those team physicists really paid off. And you said they were crazy. When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches? Nah, they didn't taste so good. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And it's first and ten. to the race. 
bases. It's a touchdown! You know, if you go frame by frame, you can see the cover of my son's death metal album. Yeah, baby. Fill up the horns. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Bad person, I think the ginormous guy is dirty. That's a four yard gain. <laughs> Second down and six. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. Looks like they're just gonna pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. They call that the honeymoon offense. I'm not gonna touch that one. That's what she said. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. Second down and two. Four. And that is called for a first down. And it's first and ten. A nice pickup for six yards. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. Back in 2017, they started implementing extreme alien betting. You can see how well it all worked out. Man, it was just trying to make America great again, man. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kick off into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grin. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and the defense quickly calls a timeout. They want to get the ball back. And it's first and ten. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. The defense has to make something happen here with one timeout left. First and four.
And that's the last time out. The D has to either break the clock or the offense if they want to win. Hey, as long as something gets broke, right? Second down and five. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Yay. And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Uh, is the game over yet? I gotta go to the vet to have him reattach my big toe to where my thumb was again. It just fell off for the third time today. I was barely even chewing on it. Talk for the first down. First and ten. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. The Steelheads are losers today. It was close for a while, but in the end it was just too much for them and they couldn't get it done. Sounds like your wedding night, doesn't it? Hey, they got pills for that. You know that commercial where they show a mummy getting a photo? What the hell are you talking about, Bricks? I don't know, I get confused often. I'm on a lot of painkillers. Well, moving right along, let's hear what the MVP has to say. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzro with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.